Providing control and predictable deceleration to high-speed automated machines is the main purpose of a shock absorber. But do you know how they operate? In this episode of Radwell's How It Works series, we're going to explore how shock absorbers work. To provide a better understanding of how they work, let's review the main components of a shock absorber. Typically made up of five main components, the outside of the shock absorber will consist of the outer body, the piston rod, the button, and the springs. On the inside, there will be orifices inside a pressure chamber. Now that we've reviewed the basic components of a shock absorber, let's talk about how they work. The working principle of all shock absorbers is to convert kinetic energy into thermal energy. It begins with the actuated device coming into contact with the button. The springs will convert sudden shock waves into repetitive motion. Hydraulic fluid inside the pressure chamber will be pressed down by the piston, forcing it to pass through the orifices. This in turn causes the fluid to heat rapidly, transferring thermal energy to the cylinder body and harmlessly releasing it to the atmosphere. The springs will continue to push back and assist the piston rod. The actuated object will be decelerated quickly and efficiently, providing instant relief for the moving machine. When a machine needs to absorb shocks and vibrations, shock absorbers provide that. If you like this information on shock absorbers, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more information on industrial products and processes. For information about Radwell, visit us on the web at radwell.com or connect with us on social media. Thanks for watching.